a video featuring uh, ex pro snowboarder and uh, daredevil YouTuber Trevor Jacob. And he's in a little bit of trouble because uh, he's being accused by uh, federal authorities of purposely doing what you're about to see in the next video. So the plane crashes and after he parachuted out of the plane, he proceeded to film himself kind of traveling through the hilly area to safety. And so let's just show you a quick snippet of that naked and afraid esque footage. Ow. Oh my God. I'm just so happy to be alive. I'm just kind of. Taking in what just happened. Well, where the hell am I gonna land a freaking plane? I'm gonna die. That's why I always freaking fly with a parachute. No phone service. I'm climbing literally through the gnarliest freaking bushes. There's literally nothing. No anything. Oh my gosh, dude. I have no idea where I am. I'm in pain, man. I'm hurting. Whatever I'm going through, I wish upon nobody. It's getting dark. I'm just trying to get out of here. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but you can hear a cow. I can hear a cow. I literally just went onto my knees. A car, a car. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hi, how you doing, how you doing man? I had an engine out in the, in the mountains and uh, there was nowhere to land. I always fly with a parachute and I'm like, I can either jump right now or, or take the chance of landing this thing. And I'm that I'm out. So he was eventually saved by a farmer who discovered him at dusk. But that video that you just watched actually accumulated 1.7 million views. And now there are some concerns that the whole thing wasn't some freak accident. It was actually done intentionally of as a, a part of this stunt. Um, so let me tell you the details on why uh, the FAA believes he did this intentionally. And then we'll get into uh, how they're planning on punishing him. Almost immediately after he posted the video on December 24th, viewers and aviation experts expressed doubts online over over his portrayal of the crash. It was orchestrated, they claimed, for views and likes. And several steps Jacob took, such as wearing a parachute in the first place, were evidence of a preconceived publicity stunt. That last part, I don't necessarily agree with because, I mean, wouldn't you want to wear a parachute if you're on a plane like yeah. that? So, anyway, just to be safe? No, well, I would defer to the experts. I would have thought that too. Right. But apparently, that's not as normal as we would have thought at all. Uh, so that was clue number one. But to me, he kind of gave it away there in the video when he's like, "Oh, it's a good thing I happen to yes. be wearing a parachute." Yes, I was gonna get to that. Yeah, yeah, as soon as he said that, I was like, "Oh, I guess they don't normally wear parachutes." So he said that so he could be like, "Oh, that is why I have it on, right?" Yeah. Yep. Let alone the very conveniently placed cameras all over the plane yeah. himself. Yep. 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 So. Oh, so just in case I crash. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? What if something went wrong and you died? Like, like we're on YouTube. Like we've had some banger videos that, <laughs> that have like got millions of views. I didn't put my life in danger for it, and I never would put my life in danger for it because like the money ain't worth it. Yeah, it, no, but Anna, that's the main point of the story, which is that people are now dying to get famous. And so in this case, he is lucky he didn't die. 
but he took some percentage risk. Obviously, he was very well prepared with the cameras and the parachute. And he's like, oh, I don't know where I am. My ass, you don't know where you are, okay? I guarantee, Oh, I happened to crash where there are no people. Right, mm -hmm. he's gonna want to do that. I guarantee you, he plotted out how far he'd have to walk. You gonna clean up your the plane carcass, or are you just gonna leave it like polluted? You know, you gonna pollute the mountainous region that you uh, did this little stunt in? Yeah. So I, I would have been super skeptical of the story from minute one, but now that all, the experts have weighed in, the FAA, FAA has weighed in, it's, it seems pretty clear on public information uh, that that uh, this was not an accident. So let's get to those details because the FAA has in fact waited. They think that uh, this guy is full of crap. Uh, they actually, that he actually intended to crash. In a letter to Jacob on April 11th, the FAA said he had violated federal aviation regulations and operated his single engine plane in a careless and reckless manner so as to endanger the life or property of another. The agency said it would immediately revoke Jacob's private pilot certificate, effectively ending his permission to operate any aircraft. That sucks, but if you're doing this kind of stuff on purpose, you deserve it. They By the way, I mean, I mean, I don't know what his claim is. Oh, it was just the biggest fluke accident of all time. I guess that theoretically could happen. It's also the other possibility is that you're grotesquely incompetent and didn't do the things you needed to maintain the airplane, and that's why it crashed. Either way, you probably shouldn't have your pilot's license. And look, the FAA did make a compelling case to Jenks point earlier. I wanna give you that case right now. They say during this flight, you opened the left side pilot door before you claimed the engine had failed, the FAA wrote. Before jumping out of the plane, the agency said, Jacob made no attempt to contact air traffic control on the emergency frequency, did not try to restart the engine by increasing airflow over the propeller and failed to look for a place to safely land, even though there were multiple areas within gliding range in which you could have made a safe landing. You demonstrated a lack of care, judgment and responsibility by choosing to jump out of an aircraft solely so you could record the footage of the crash. Your egregious and intentional actions on these dates indicate that you presently lack the degree of care, judgment and responsibility required of a certificate holder. Now, despite the egregiousness of his actions, the FAA is of course limited in what they can do about it. So they don't have the ability to prosecute him, but of course they can revoke his license and they can also suspend certificates and issue fines. The agency ordered Jacob to surrender his private pilot certificate and said that he could face further legal enforcement action if he did not do if he did not do so, including a civil penalty of up to $1,644 for each day that he did not return it. Yeah, um, I think that's actually a super minor uh, punishment if yeah, it he really should be is. thrilled. To, he should take it and run, um, because I mean, what he did was super dangerous. You know, I like I said earlier, I assume he mapped out the area and that, and he crashed it in a place where there aren't people. But what if you screwed up? And what if there were people? And what let alone epic crashing. Epic mountain a, man's living there. Yeah, it, I mean, let alone crashing the plane and then just leaving it uh, there. Yeah, uh, at least for that moment. Uh, I mean, there's just a ton of things that could have gone terribly wrong. And then when you look back at the video after you see what the FAA said, there's another moment where he says, "Oh, look around. There's no place to land." Like, come on, dude. So, but look, uh, to be fair to him, he's not the only one who has engaged in stupid behavior for likes and views. Uh, he just happens to be one of the few who have risked uh, their lives to do it. Um, remember, we talked about uh, this young lady who actually decided to do a photo shoot at her father's funeral. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's uh, she's an Instagram model. Not a great idea. That was Jesus Jane Rivera. Man. That is unreal, man. There was also the YouTuber couple that adopted a child from China and then gave him away oh. in September of 2019. 
Uh, Mika Stauffer posted an update in which she said that her adopted son, Huxley, had received treatment following, and this is a completely different story, by the way, following a diagnosis of autism. But followers noticed in late 2019 and early 2020, Huxley stopped appearing in videos. In May of 2020, the couple posted an update in which they explained he had been given permanently to another family for the sake of his emotional well being. Like adopting a child for your online content is like, it's so selfish and narcissistic and terrible, terrible. But like, that's what this culture is. That's what our culture is in America. Everything is about like your personal brand and likes. Like, I don't get it. I don't get, like, I don't get that constant quest for validation from strangers online. Like who cares? Does it make your life better? No, they're, they're addicted to it and, and it is a human phenomenon. You, you want the community to approve you, validate you, etc. And uh, but because of social media, it has just gone nuclear um, where people are risking their lives. Look, the Logan brothers, they didn't jump out of a plane, but they're getting their head smashed in You know, every other day. They're in so those rich. No, I, I, they're, they're so rich. massively rich. At least they got paid for it, okay? But CT is real. Uh, I, you know, I don't know if they got concussions, etc. They're certainly putting themselves in physical uh, ha- danger, harm yeah. and danger, right? Um, but you would say, hey, look, that's boxing. But other boxers do it too. But overall, though, people are doing crazy. And remember, he found the dead body, one of the Logan brothers, and and yes, and then we went to the sensationalized it, etc. In Japan, terrible. Yeah, yeah. So they they're doing more and more extreme things to get that. Uh, what Andy Warhol called the 15 minutes of fame, right? Well, I want to give you one more example, and this is outdated data because it's from a study uh, dating back to 2018. More than 250 people around the world have died taking selfies since 2011. So between 2011 and 2018, 250 people died taking selfies in dangerous places. Because right? they wanted the, the, now when I go to uh, different places like you go to the middle of the desert for a quick uh, you know camping trip or something everything is now instagram spots exactly they're not they're not even called a place oh that's a monument or that's a you know an interesting place you'd want to see no they're being referred to not not by the officials but by everyone that's in the area oh that's a good instagram post right and good instagram posts are like hanging off a cliff like this Don't until do it. you accidentally well, for Don't what do it. for because 11 people are going to like it online <laughs> My most liked uh, pictures on Instagram have been selfies in my car. That's it. Yeah, Super safe. I'm mine. in my car. People love it. <laughs> people, the people are saying you okay. don't have you don't have to be hanging from a cliff. Okay. They just want to see your face. It could be in a safe place like your car. Okay. By the way, to be clear, she was not driving at the time. <laughs> no, no, in my parked vehicle. Okay, in my parked safe vehicle, where I don't know what it is about lighting in my car, but I look good. <laughs> like uh, it's just okay, the best we went lighting. To a different place. No, go to my Instagram page, Anna Kasparian <laughs> official. You'll see they're the most liked pictures. It's insane. It took a bit of an ironic turn there, but overall, do not risk your life for fame. It doesn't pay. And even if you got famous but you died, I got news for you. I'm not gonna help you because you're dead. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.